We're here, everybody. <clears throat> it took us about seven streams, but we made it. Last night, I beat The Last of Us Remastered, and I beat the DLC Left Behind in uh, one sitting, and I'm properly anxious, excited, and ready to jump into the seven-year-long wait that has been The Last of Us Part Two <laughs> in development. Uh, we bring an end to that tonight. I take my first step. Uh, going from fist fighting Joel to switch blading Ellie. So, uh, before we do that, we got uh, options and stuff I gotta set up. Speaking of which, give me one second. Off. Cool. I can left and right directional buttons change. So, the thing that's really cool about The Last of Us Part Two is that it's an extraordinarily accessible game. Like, you, oh man, for the people that have disabilities or are blind, hearing impaired, mute. Oh, maybe not mute. I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll talk to the game or something through the controller headset. I don't know, but it's. It's revolutionarily accessible. Like, Naughty Dog has... Say what you want about the story. Say what you want about their game design. But the fact that it's this accessible to this degree is like... They have set a new bar for for disabled gamers. Um, and I know there's a lot. I actually know a few people um, that, are, that have some disability and they play games. And they can only play certain games because either they are colorblind or they have limited... Um, movements of control Left and or right they... directional buttons change. I'll leave that there. Text language English, speech language English. There we go. I don't want uh, Siri over here, <laughs> Alexa to speak over me. But um, yeah, I just I know that it's it's a big pain for people that want to play. Uh, I mean they're cool watching things, watching someone else play, but they get to play, and it's it's. It's like a smorgasbord of, of accessibility. So again, that's this is a major plus for the industry as a whole. And pretty proud that uh, PlayStation is putting another another uh, huge monumental monumental leap forward for gamers everywhere. So anyways, let's continue. Oh no, I must resize the markers. I actually think I'm good. So uh, continue. Okay, shadows, mid, mid tones, brights. I'm gonna leave everything default. No HDR support, sadly. Uh, okay, subtitles. Here's some common features you may want to adjust before playing. Good, yes. I would like to adjust these. Subtitles. Ah, uh, ooh, yeah. See, look, already right here. Look at so many accessibility options. I can control the subtitles. Um, okay, so subtitles. Enables subtitles for spoken dialogue, story dialogue. Okay, enable subtitles for main characters, important enemy dialogue, cinematics, combat dialogue. Enable subtitles for additional enemy dialogue while in stealth and combat. Uh, both. Why not both? Um, oh, and even say, Ellie, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Medium's fine. Um, enables a dark background. Ooh. I think we're good with off. Uh, I like the names. People do. I know people appreciate that, so I'll keep it on. Yeah, let's give different... Uh, when subtitle names are enabled, displays the names. Oh yeah, for sure. Everyone gets their own color. I like it. Just like on Twitch. Uh, direction enables an arrow next to the subtitle indicating the screen relative direction of the person per the person 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 speaking <clears throat> learn to speak does not display for on-screen speakers okay yeah why not we can even change ooh yellow blue red green not gonna lie, I'm a fan of the yellow, but I think I'm just gonna keep it white. 
Um, although yellow looks pretty snazzy. I'll, I'll stick with stock white. Okay, how do I... Back? Oh, perfect. Uh, give me... Headphones. Perfect. Two channels, fine. Auto. Select the center channel configuration. Oh, no, no, I don't have any surround sound. Leave that disabled. Uh, dynamic range. Wider dynamic range has more volume increase between quiet and loud sounds. Narrow dynamic range has less. Let's leave it on auto. Uh, no mono. Uh, I don't want to mess with that. Stereo headphone azimuths. azimuths. Adjust the match angle of the front surround speaker. Configure azimuths to match your... I don't even know how to say that. Azimuths. Azimuths to match your personal listening environment for the best sound localized. I wouldn't even know how to begin to to uh, pinpoint <laughs> to what's the word I'm looking for? Precision to calibrate. There we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. Accessibility. The thing I was talking about. So here we go. Here are some common features you may want to adjust before playing. Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, by turning these settings on, you agree that Sony Interactive Entertainment LLC may receive use data about the settings you have selected for the exclusive purpose of analytics and Im improvement of accessibility features. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's... I don't think I need to turn... Apply Vision Accessibility. This will enable settings across multiple menus. Text-to-speech, high-contrast display, HUD scale large, lock-on-aim, auto-target, traversal... Traversal, combat audio cues, navigation, traversal assistance, ledge guard, enhanced listen mode, invisible while prone, unlimited, skip puzzle option, various adjustments in com combat accessibility. Damn! And that's just from turning that on. <laughs> Hearing? Uh, uh, designed, designed for players who are blind. Wow, blind or have low vision. Okay, well, I don't... I'm... Near perfect vision, I like to think so. I'm gonna leave that alone. We're deaf or hard of hearing. Uh, not there yet. Hopefully, I don't ever get there, but I think I'm good. Awareness indicators this will enable settings across multiple menus. Yeah, pick up notifications, dodge prompts. Dodge prompts, I can dodge. <laughs> frequent subtitles, uh, frequent frequency. Subtitle story in combat, subtitle name, subtitle direction, combat vibration cues. Ooh, guitar vibration cues. Cool. Yeah, I don't I think on, and then there we go. Okay, recommended uh, settings designed for players with a physical or mobility disability. Lock on aim, auto target, auto weapon swap, auto pickup, camera assist on, navigation and traversal assistance, ledge guard, infinite breath, repeated button presses, hold. Melee combos hold. Weapon sway off. Skip puzzle option. Damn. Various adjustments in the combat accessibility. Hey, whoa. This is like... That's a lot of control. <laughs> that's like control of systems of the game. That's like... I almost want to just check all of this stuff out and see how... How, uh fleshed out and fully implemented all this stuff and that sounds this i i honestly can't think of a game that offers you this level of control it's this is this is astounding <laughs> like i'm not trying to like kiss butt or anything but i'm just like whoa <laughs> that's a that is a lot a lot of options i'm glad i'm glad there's options uh i don't think i need to mess with any of that so Here it comes. God, I'm, I'm, ex I'm scared. I'm anxious. I'm excited. I thought it was like. Instantly just going into a cutscene or something. 
I'm like, whoa. Uh, let me just quickly balance some stuff on my end. Okay, I hope that's good. Uh, extras, concept art, view concept art from the making of the game. Earn points and unlock unique content by finding collectibles, earning trophies, completing the game on higher difficulties. Ah, okay. So there's a reason to do the hardest. Inspect the character models that appear across the story. Earn points, unlock unique content by finding collectibles, earning trophies. Okay. Well, now I gotta, gotta play it in hard mode. Uh, controls. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not gonna, there's a lot of stuff. I don't think I need to... Camera assist, aim assist. I need all the aim assist. Uh... Dang, there's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> Dang, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff in here. Collectible tracking. Ooh, displays a special icon when collectibles have already been picked up. Actually turn that on. That's That's actually very useful. <laughs> okay. Um, subtitles are good. Give me that maximum camera shake. Uh, I don't have text-to-speech on. Everything should be good. Yep, yep. Uh, uh for in-world text. When set to auto, this feature is automatically enabled when a non-English language is... Selected. Oh, cool. It'll auto translate. Damn, Naughty Dog. They really, they really did like think of maybe just about everything. Okay. Uh, take one more look at controls really quick. Uh. There's a lot of. Okay, I, th I think I'm good. Alright. I'm ready, everybody. New game. Very light. Explore and experience the story with a lighter combat challenge. Camera and aim assistance settings are enabled by default. Less challenging than moderate. Resources are more common. Enemies are less dangerous. Provides a balanced experience. Resources are limited. For those looking for a greater challenge, resources are very limited. Enemies are more dangerous. An intense, demanding challenge. Resources are extremely scarce. Enemies are deadly. Survivor it is. <laughs> At least it's not grounded. Unless they just dumbed it down and Survivor's the new grounded. This difficulty is not recommended for your first playthrough. Are you sure you want to proceed? Okay. Alright. I'm a little scared. This is just like last time. Get a quick bottle of water. Hydrate. Uh -uh. This is... This is... I, I think the game... In Remastered, it was like, Are you sure you want to torture yourself with this super duper extra hard difficulty? And I was like, eh? <laughs> I think so? <laughs> um, hard is, this is going to be challenging. Oh man. You know what? We'll see how I get. If I don't like it, 
I absolutely will go back and go down to hard. Just because, again, this seems like a difficulty for once you've beaten the game once and you're like, alright, I need that challenge. Then you bump yourself up and you go for this. But I was able to do it ungrounded, so maybe I should be good. Yeah, don't in don't invert nothing. Okay. Oh, deep breath. All right, here we go. Let's start. You have you have selected survivor. Challenge level can be changed at any time in options difficulty. Okay. Let's do it. Ooh, they're butterflies. It used to be the cordyceps, just like twirling in the wind. At least I actually get a loading bar now. <laughs> oh, I'm so anxious. Excited. It begins. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. Joel. You go halfway across the country with someone. He looks good, man. <gasps> she needed her immunity to mean something. Maybe I was starting to buy into that old cure business. Maybe I just wanted to do right by her. And then we made it. We found the firefight. Because of her, they were actually going to make a cure. Dang, this is just the ending. The only catch. It would kill her. What are you doing? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Damn, he looks good. Tommy? Jesus Christ, Joel. Yep. What do you do? Saved her. I saved her. Mm hmm <laughs> That's our Joel. I did that. The fist fighting man. Jesus. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Cover the action. Don't let him get away. Shit. What does Ellie know? I told her they just ran some tests. I told her her immunity meant nothing. And she believed you? 